Yo, Adrian, what's happening? It's Tawa Fight.News. Hey, man, I just, uh, judging from the last press conference, you seem, you're clearly a little bit pissed off that everything was uh, being done virtually. And now we got you today. Does that mean we're going to see uh, an, uh, an Adrian Broner and AB that's going to be coming out with some fire in his belly? Like you're going to make this war. I know normally you kind of, you, you're a sniper that likes to wait, but is this, uh, seems like you have a chip on your shoulder. Is this going to, is this going to be a kind of a different AB we're about to see? Man, listen, man, I'm going to go in there and do what I got to do to get the victory. If I, if I got a bang to get the victory, I'm a bang. If I, if I can sit back and be a sniper, I'm going to sit back and be a sniper. But you know, uh, I'll tell you what, one thing, man, I, I'll be ready for whatever uh, Omar Figueroa brings to the table. Do you think that Omar, the guy who uh, normally throws a lot of punches, is very active? Uh, do you feel like maybe he's going to give you some chances to maybe snipe and get that counter shot and maybe put we him down? Know. We, we, we don't know until that, until that first bell sound off. So uh, I'm going to just keep preparing to my best ability in um, August 20th. I'll be ready. Man, best of luck to you, A.B. We'll be looking forward to it and uh, seeing you back in the – Back in the build and back to where you belong in the public eye and the boxing. I appreciate you. All right. Thanks, Todd. We'll take our next question from James Conlon. Hi, Adrian. Uh, Adrian, I spoke to your coach there the other day at the virtual conference, and he said that it was important for you now to align yourself with people that really care about Adrian Broner and the, the days of the entourage that surrounded Adrian Broner are gone. Has that been an important element for this camp, for Adrian Broner, to lessen down the, all the voices in the background and get people centred that really care about Adrian Broner? Um, the most part of this camp is just getting the best shape I can, you know, uh, and just become, just become back myself. And, uh, that's, that's, that's my main focus. You know, uh, all of the outside stuff, you know, I, I don't, I don't bring that into the ring. I don't bring that around me while I'm in training camp. So, you know, right now I'm just focused on boxing. And Adrian, in terms of your opponent, Omar Figueroa, he's spoken publicly about his troubles and he's just relieved to get back into the ring and get get boxing. And his motivation is one step at a time. You seem to have real ambitions to get back in a, a sort of title run and sort of stuff. So is he really going in there with sort of less pressure? Or do, is the weight of expectation more on your shoulders? I mean, you know, uh, you know, I'm Adrian Browners, you know, four-time world champion of four different weight classes. So, you know, the expectations for me is always high. When I when I go in the ring, I know uh, a lot of people expect a lot of great things out of me. So, you know, I'm used to it. You know, uh, for me, man, I'm just going in trying to get the victory. And finally, Adrian, you've made so many statements uh, throughout your career and so many milestones and achievements. Do you think there's still one or two statements that Adrian Broner has left in the tank in terms of really good memories to come in the future? And is that why you're persisting uh, with this adventure? Because you've achieved so much. Is that the, the case for Adrian Broner to have one final stand, one final moment he can look back on? Hey, man, you talking to me like I'm 65 years old, man. <laughs> Do you know who you're talking to, man? I'm AB, man. A, B, I know, man. yeah. <laughs> you tripping. Thanks, Adrian. Best of luck in the fight. All right. Thanks, James. We will go now with Michael Woods. Michael, you have Adrian. Jumping in on what the last guy asked, A.B., I am curious. Do you have an idea in your mind how much longer you want to do this? No, you're not old, but you've been doing it a long time. And sometimes this sport politically and all this stuff can be aggravating. Do you know how much longer you're going to fight? And look, man, this what this what I this what I'm going to tell you to do. You bring your ass out here and try to go around with me. And see if I got some more in the tank. wrong with these people i guess michael doesn't have any more questions after that so we're gonna move along 
Um, let's go with Matt in two. Matt, you're on with Adrian. Cheers, Adrian. Hope you're well. Um, Adrian, you're a four-weight world champion. You're one of the quickest to ever do it. Um, what's the? Do you sometimes feel in boxing that you don't get the credit and the respect that you deserve? Matt, and see, one thing I learned about boxing, man, and I learned this early on when I, when I watched a lot of fighters. Um, they don't really, they don't really like know what they got or, or really like appreciate what they got until, till, till he retire or, or to, till he's done. And, you know, uh, with that being said, man, I'm just going to stay focused and uh, just keep doing me. With everything you've been through, not just in boxing, but in life, what's the motivation to come back again? Where's the... Is it for your kids? Is it for yourself? You know, what's the motivation to keep getting back in the ring? Um, of course, it's for my kids. You know, I, I got to keep providing for them. But, but the mo for most important part, you know, uh, I, I'm doing this for myself, man. You know, um, I know I can be champion again, and I know I'm going to become champion again, and um, that's what I'm doing on this run. And finally, um, for me, Adrian, you've done a lot of good stuff in the sport of boxing. Um, not it doesn't always get talked about. You've brought along people like obviously your big brother, uh, Rashid Warren, people like Robert Easter Jr. and many more. Um, do you think sometimes that side of you gets overlooked when we talk about Adrian Broner and boxing? Man, like I said before, man, they don't really appreciate you until you're done. So, you know, uh, I know I'm far from being finished. I know my name. My name will always be big in this in this boxing game, and um, I'm just here to just go on this run and uh, be, become the best Adrian Browner I could be. Now, Adrian, the last couple of months, sorry, I no, said so that was the last one, but there was uh, talks of you fighting the likes of Conor Ben and things like that, and back and forth with Eddie Hearn. Where did that get to? To the talks with uh, the likes of Conor and Eddie, was Eddie not putting up enough money for you? Where did negotiations get to? Man. I'm not here to talk about Eddie Hearn. I ain't talking about. I ain't here to talk about Conor Ben. You know, I, I'm scheduled to fight in in, in um, a little less than five weeks. So uh, that's my main focus right now. Okay, Adrian. Uh, thanks for giving us some of your time and good luck against Omar. All right, thank you. Thank you, Matt. We'll take.